Alright then guys, this is Yara here and this is gonna be my 10 tips that will help you master Dragon Link. I think I played Dragon Link exclusively all of the last uh, ban list on the TCG and I even got first place on my locals playing this a uh, couple of days ago so I feel pretty confident with this deck so and as always if you want the written form of this deck list that I'm using in this video uh, you can always go to my discord and I'm gonna have the written form on the uh, YouTube deck list channel so you can like copy it from there so yeah let's get started with the 10 tips so for tip number one it's gonna be we're gonna be utilizing recharger the cool thing about recharger is that uh if we use the striker dragon effect on field effect to target itself and recharger in the graveyard if we, if we already have a uh, recharger in the graveyard then we can go ahead and uh pop striker dragon we're gonna add the rocket recharger from our graveyard and then we're gonna be able to in the same chain activate recharger and send recharger and special summon another dark dragon from our graveyard because recharger says that uh, if a dark monster you control that was special summoned from the extra deck is destroyed by a battle or card effect you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard and target one of those destroyed monsters special summon one dark monster from your graveyard with a different original name from that targeted monster so the the cool trick that you can do with this is like uh if you have striker dragon you can target itself pop itself target recharger in the graveyard add recharger discard recharger and special summon another dark dragon that you already have in the graveyard so you can even special summon stuff like hot red if you have hot red in the graveyard you can special summon out hot red so you can special summon out chamber you can special summon out abs nocto whatever you need so that's a pretty cool trick that you can do with it also if you're playing like red eyes darkness uh, you can special summon that as well, and that will even net you like even like more pluses. I'm not running it on this deck list, but that's another option that you have. If you're running a Red Eyes Darkness uh, Metal, uh, you can special summon these off of Recharger if it's in, the, in your graveyard, and then you can activate Darkness Metal and special summon another monster. So, so pretty cool tricks that you can do with this. But that was tip number one, and for tip number two, Quad Burl is one of the best cards going second. You need to know that. Um, it has this cool effect that you can discard a card then target one face of monster on the field and uh, You're locked out of link two or lower for the remainder of the turn uh, But you are able to special summon up to Rocket monsters up to the link rating of that monster you targeted So that's very good in synergy with cards like droplet. So if your opponent has something like an Appaloosa on the field you droplet the Appaloosa then you go into Quad Burl, Quad Burl effect, discard one, target the Appaloosa. Now you're able to special summon up to four rocket monsters with different names from your graveyard. So it's absolutely insane. And it's up to, so that means you don't have to summon four. It can be one, two, three, or even four rocket monsters with different names from your graveyard. So uh, Quad Burl is one of those crazy cards going second. So you want to use it as much as possible, especially if your opponent leaves something like a... Like uh, any Link 2, Link 3, or an Appaloosa, or an Access Code, who is crazy, you can special summon up to 4. So you s keep in mind that it's up to the rating. So if they leave something like a Seals, then you can special summon up to 2. So, yeah. So you're going to want to use Quad Boral as much as possible. But that was it for tip number 2. And then for tip number 3 is that uh, Chaos Ruler uh, can actually activate its effect even if you're under Drolling Lockbird. Uh, we all know Jolin Lockbird. Uh, Jolin Lockbird prevents you from adding cards from the main deck to your hand, even drawing or adding. But the cool thing about Chaos Ruler is that it's optional to add to your hand. So what you can do is activate uh, Chaos Ruler effect when, once you're under Jolin Lockbird. Uh, and then uh, you mill five and then they stay in the graveyard. But you can mill some pretty crazy cards you can mill something like a safer or a levy which are even good in the graveyard because uh, you can add back levy off of safer so even if you're under droll it's still pretty good for to go for the chaos ruler so that's another tip that you may want to use in your next game so now let's go for a tip number four for tip number four is nocto nocto can actually not only does it have the effect that when it gets linked someone you get to draw a card or when, uh, when a Dark Dragon gets special summoned, you can special summon it. But it also has the effect that a lot of people don't use it for. 
is that it can protect one of your back rows. It says that when your opponent activates a card effect that targets a face down card you control, quick effect you can banish this card from your graveyard and negate that effect. Also, your opponent cannot target that face down card with card effects for the rest of the turn. So, if you have something like a Tiding set and they target it with Cosmic Cyclone, you can go ahead and chain Nocto to protect it from your graveyard. And then for the rest of the turn, they won't be able to target that card. So even if they had another card that was going to destroy your tiding, they won't be able to do that. So keep in mind that knock the effect, okay? So that was it for tip number four. Now we're going to go for tip number five. You want to memorize all the levels uh, of your dragons in this deck because uh, Safer has that cool effect that he says you can send any number of dragon monsters from your hand or face up on the field. Add one dragon monster from your deck to your hand whose level equals the total or original levels of those monsters sent to the graveyard so a couple of cool things that you can do with this is that you can send absolute from your hand uh, to pitch its cost for safer and then you can add nocto because they're both level seven so you can add destrudo because it's also level seven just depending on what you need and then if you send abs you'll be able to add abs or you can send stuff like abs and rocket synchron to add levy because both of them equals to eight so you're gonna want to memorize all the levels uh four 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 one just that way you know what cards you're able to search depending on the levels that you have in your hand so that's another tip that you can use with safer so now for tip number six is that e seal of the heavenly spheres uh, uh you can activate this even if you're under like droplet or imperm or dark ruler no more uh you won't get the first effect to bounce but you will still get the effect so if you tribute itself you will still get the effect to special summon out from the deck so a lot i've seen a lot of players just like not activate the second effect of seal uh, once the effect is negated because they think that both effects are negated. No, it, it, you only lose the first effect if it gets negated uh, by something like a droplet or imperm, but you can still activate the second effect to tribute, it, tribute itself and special summon a dragon from the deck. So you can special summon out like a chamber, absolutor, safer, whatever. So always use uh, the second effect even if uh, seals is negated. So keep that in mind. So that was it for uh tip number six and now for tip number seven is hot red can actually help you play around cards like dark ruler no more or if, i mean forbidden droplet or dark ruler no more because dark ruler no more has it says that says negate the effects of all face of monsters your opponent currently controls until the end of the turn. also for, uh your opponent neither player can activate monster effects in response to this card's activation so you may be wondering how in the world can you can hot red beat dark ruler no more if it says that you cannot activate monster effects in response in response to this card's activation the way that you can play around that is if uh you have another card to chain so if you have something like a quick launch set on your side of the field your opponent is going to go ahead and activate dark ruler no more you chain the quick launch and then you you chain on top of that you chain hot red negating the dark ruler no more because the only thing you cannot do is chain to the dark ruler no more but in this scenario you will be chaining to the quick launch so chaining one dark ruler more chaining two quick launch and then chaining three hot red negating the dark ruler no more you can also do this with stuff like droplet if they don't send a spell uh, and then you have a set down quick launch then you can negate droplet with hot with hot red or if they if they if they don't send a trap card and then you have something like a tiding set and um the, you're able to negate droplet even uh with hot red so the same scenario if, if they activate droplet send like a monster and a spell to negate two monsters on the field you go ahead and chain tiding and then you activate hot red to negate the droplet because they didn't send a, a trap card so you're able to chain tiding and then you you're gonna be able to activate hot red negating the droplet so hot red is a very good card that can deal with some problematic cards like dark or no more or droplet so yeah utilize hot red as much as possible so now we are gonna go into tip number eight uh we're gonna be talking about savage so uh the effect of savage is that when it's link summon you can equip one link monster from your graveyard to this card and if you do place the borrow counters on this card equal to that link monsters rating so the cool thing about uh savage is that 
if if he loses the equip like if he gets destroyed or something then you get you lose the attack boost but you do not lose the boral counter so you keep your negate so uh, some cool tricks that you can do with this is if you have the savage with an equip monster let's just say you have an equip romulus right so you have two boral counters you can go ahead and normal summon a special map tracer target the romulus that's equipped to the savage you pop it so and then you're able to special summon a monster from the deck and and savage does not lose its counter so uh that way you get that's a that's a huge plus because you're able to pop a card basically for free so keep that in mind so you do not lose the negates when uh your equip gets destroyed so now we are gonna go into tip number nine so for tip number nine is uh keep in mind that tracer or quick launch is our one card chaos rulers you may be wondering how is that possible well you the thing is uh, you normal summon or special summon out Tracer, either with quick launch or just by normal summoning out Tracer. And then you go ahead and link that off for Striker Dragon. Striker Dragon will search you the boot sector launch. Then you're going to go ahead and activate Striker Dragon effect, target itself and the Tracer that's in the graveyard. Pop Striker Dragon at the Tracer that you, that you, you had in the graveyard. Then you activate boot sector activate boot sector activate boot sector effect to special summon out the rocket tracer that you had in your hand special summon out rocket tracer rocket tracer target the boot sector launch pop it special summon out recharger so now you have a level four tuner and a level four four non-tuner then you're able to go into the chaos ruler so they are one card chaos ruler so if you have tracer if you have quick launch then you know that's a one card chaos ruler another thing that you can do is it can also be a one card savage but if you have something to discard so instead of uh, summoning out the chaos ruler with uh, recharger and tracer you can special summon out quad boral activate quad boral effect discard a card target quad boral himself it gets destroyed then you're able to special summon out the rocket tracer and the rocket recharger from the graveyard and then you go into savage savage will equip the quad burrow that got destroyed so you have a couple of options right there i would much prefer to go into chaos ruler because if all you had was tracer then and you special summoned it you might be able to mill another dragon from your chaos ruler so but it just depends on what you prefer but yeah that was it for tip number nine now we're gonna go for the last tip tip number 10 is for the last tip we're gonna be using levy uh just keep in mind that uh you just want to keep in mind all of levy's effect if you banish all dark you can shuffle one random card from your opponent's hand if you shuffle lights and darks then you can destroy up to two cards on the field and doesn't target if you banish all lights you can special summon one monster from your graveyard in defense position but another the 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 tip that I want to give you guys is that the effect to activate uh, one of these effects is a hard once per turn. So even if it gets negated, you won't be able to activate this effect again. But the effect to summon itself or the uh, by banishing out lights or darks is not a hard once per turn. So you can activate levy, attempt to activate the effect, gets negated, gets destroyed or something. Uh, then if you if you're able to add it back if you have safer you add it you add back levy back to your hand Or if you link it off the levy you can add the same levy back to hand and then you're able to special summon it again I, I, I know when I duel people are like wait isn't the effect to summon levy once per turn No, you can summon levy infinite amount of times. The only thing that's a hard once per turn is the the secondary effect to Activate one of these three effects. So just keep that in mind, but yeah, that was it for tip number 10 i mean dragon link i've tell i've told you guys multiple times that it's one of the most fun decks in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! basically because of cards like chaos ruler that it, you just kind of like random what you meal so you're kind of like always uh like thinking like oh what's it gonna give me so and it's a lot of like ways to play this deck so uh if you're looking for a fun combo deck in master duel or Yu-Gi-Oh! then I think this is the deck for you. It's very fun. A lot of testing that you can do. You can add the black metal package. Uh, you can add the black metal package. You can add like two of these or three of these and then you can add the red eyes darkness. So 
couple of a lot of experimentation that you can do with this deck like there's so many ways to play this deck so but yeah uh, that was it for the 10 tips to be able to master dragon link so as always guys this was yada here don't forget to click that like button that subscribe button but i'll catch you on the next video take care